Good day, dear great surgeon, Ms. you all out, and today we're gonna talk about how to study physiology for MRCS because I'm not going to study Guyton and Hall textbook for physiology. This is too much. I am a surgeon after all. So let's remind ourselves that we have about 45 question mark distribution in the MRCS exam. But luckily, we have those 45 questions mark distribution this is an official one this is not just a hypothesis you you have to study smart rather than hard but we will study hard and smart all over together so we have 15 general physiological principles 15 marks over that 45 question will be about the general physiological principles however now we have about 30 questions luckily the 30 questions won't ask you about the idea that you don't know but they are distributed among the chapters and more lucky you are that they are distributed among the chapters of the surgical subspecialties for example we have cardiovascular system five questions respiratory system five questions gastrointestinal questions those are five questions as well urinary system endocrine and neurological system all are five questions so i want to know those five questions and five marks i want them i don't want any surprises so let's get down and ask you do you know that the urinary system and the endocrine system will be overlapping with the chapter of the thyroid functions tests and the endocrine as well as well as the electrolyte imbalance and the abg because the urinary system is not just a kidney but it's related to the buffering system believe me when i say to you there is no mrcs exam without the coagulation profile it's a must in the exam will ask you about the heparin, about the coagulation, about the DIC, and all of those coagulation cascade and pathways. And in the GIT questions for the pathology, he will ask you about the hormonal experiments regarding the mastication, regarding the gastrointestinal motility, and the physiological function of digestion. All of those must be kept in mind. And if you get what I mean, that those chapters already overlap with the surgical specialties again. As well as the neurological system, he will ask you about the Glasgow Coma Scale. It's not all a hard physiological question that you create a monster for yourself. So, if you study, for example, the ABG, you will be granting at least three from the five, if not the five. If you are studying the electrolyte imbalance, you're already granting at least three from the five, if not the five. The vitamins are a general physiological principles. The electrolyte imbalance of the Sayeda and differential diagnosis are a general physiological balance principles, as well as the buffering system for the green system. The respiratory function are a must in the exam. If you study the respiratory function, you will be granting three of the five. For the cardiovascular system, let's say that the ECG is a must in the exam. Not the strep itself. Even lately, they have the tendency to bring up an ECG strep and ask you about it. As will add the jugular vein waves. So all of these questions already known. Even the wound healing phases and their phases, this is a physiology of wound healing. How the wound heal, inflammatory phase, proliferative phase, and remodeling. This is the general physiological principle we need. The edema, the tissue necrosis, the gangrene, those are pathology, but you have to know them in the physiological principles. So don't create your own monster. Just know you have 45 questions and luckily you are 
they are categorized and will not focus on a simple idea that you have points require improvement in this chapter but luckily more they are overlapping with the surgical specialties you already know so take care and let's go for it and study it well together we can with the grace of god at last but not the least if you hear this record you might be puzzled and still afraid from the physiology for me i studied it piecemeal i have read the questions pre-answered with the explanation below question by question as i'm scrolling through a newspaper or through my wall of facebook or social media nothing hard don't take it on your heart take it piecemeal and understand it and while taking it piecemeal when you face an abg and ecg and electrolyte imbalance or vitamins or spirit function make sure you understand it well because it's in the scope of the exam and they are a mask in the exam together we can with the grace of god use always dr pishore